Hey, let's get to work. Put the Myro ball into our practice routine on the putting green. It's going to make us better. So here's some things that we've learned in the use that we've had with, with different people. Is It's not really easy to do this. There could be a real revision in your stroke, which is what you want to know, but you don't want to make it so hard you can't execute it. So what I suggest is start close enough with a short enough stroke that you really can begin to kind of put that putter on the back of the ball. Make sure that you use uh, the ball liner marks so that it's flat on flat. You're going to love the way it looks in your, in your mind's eye. But one of the drills that I use with students and for myself is I'll set it up at like three and six and nine feet, just one ball. I want to walk up there. I want to make a nice solid stroke because I'm going to make this putt and, and really pay attention. Is it wobbling or not? My suspicion is it's going to be pretty good. As I move back, the stroke gets longer. It becomes more difficult. Well, of course it does because it's a longer putt. But what we're watching for is when the stroke gets longer, do, do I now put wobble or side spin or back spin on the ball? That's the critical part. Drill one, short putts, work your way back three, six, nine, or you could have three putts from three feet, move them back three from six, three from nine. Work that into your schedule. Make sure you're giving yourself some success and watch when it starts to come, come apart and then you work on that specific length.